Hi, it's Miss Newman. I'm so glad you've joined me today. Today I'm going to show you how to use a two liter soda bottle to make a decorative sculpture for your garden. Once you get the bottom of your bottle cut off, you're going to be painting it with an acrylic paint. And the acrylic paint is great for when you want something that's more water resistant. You're going to paint the inside of the dome for our ladybug. Make sure you're wearing an apron because the apron will protect your clothing as this acrylic paint will not come out. Once you get the red done, you're going to put on the details on the top of the ladybug by painting on its little polka dots. making sure I get my dots about the same size and that they're spread out around the body of the ladybug. We're going to make a head from a piece of newspaper. The newspaper just needs to be balled up really tight and then we'll overlay it with a piece of tin foil. The tin foil will make your head waterproof. You'll see I'm getting ready to do that now. When you tear your tin foil off, you want to make sure that you don't you tear it at an angle, pulling down kind of on the corner until you get it all the way torn off. Make sure you keep your hand away from the blade. Once you get that done, then you'll be able to paint your silver ball, which will be the head. You can paint him black with an acrylic paint. Boy, I paint really fast, don't I? <laughs> There's one section you're not going to paint, and that is a small little area for you to put a little bit of um, hot glue. So the hot glue is going to allow the head to stick on to the body of the ladybug. And you might have a friend help you with this. You see I'm fumbling a little. But because you want to put a little pressure on to hold it. But my paint's still wet. It hasn't had time to dry. So that makes it a little bit tricky. Then, once you've got that set, you need to make sure you wipe your hands off really good. Because that acrylic paint can stain your clothing. And so you got to get your fingers cleaned off. Now we're going to work uh, with some black wire to make our little antenna coming up. And you can bend the ends together to make it kind of round on the ends. And then we're going to kind of just loop that around the head of the ladybug and give it a little twist. Now once everything's good and dry, you can then go in and adjust it a little bit more to get it the way you want it to be. And our last step is going to be to add some eyes. So we're going to use some wiggly eyes on our ladybug and we're going to put it on with our hot glue. Alright, I hope you will enjoy making these um, for your garden. It will be a nice little surprise amongst the flowers to have some art that you, re you created that was recycled from garbage. And it looks really cool. <music>